are going wrong, but you can't really do anything to stop it. And then, like, the one time he tries to do something heroic, he ends up dying. Wait, are, are, are we on... Are we... I'm pretty sure this is the way to go. Are we actually going to do something this time? Are we? I think Did you so. get the rune already? Oh, thank God! <laughs> Yeah, okay, this is the way up to the rune. I think. Over here? This ledge. This way? And I'm on the roof. At long last, our, our long national nightmare is over. Oh, I can hear it shimmering. And fall off to the bottom. <laughs> there it is. There we go. Three of five. That's a little burn mark in that thing. Scorched by my rage. <laughs> I probably had a mishap with the electric lines over there. There we go. Ow, and I poked myself in the barbed fence or whatever it is as I go by. All right. Now we can actually go back to doing stuff. Instead of just wandering around trying to remember how to do stuff. Yep. See that tall boy heading by. Why would they write, send us food, not bullets, on the inside of a room? I don't know. That's a good question. Would that not be more productive on the side of a building outside? Maybe it was a, maybe it was a person just, like, having, like, an argument with his roommate? Who was, like, wouldn't let, who wouldn't let, who wouldn't let him eat anything? And, and was trying to shoot him? I, I don't know. It, the theory is not strong. <laughs> I'm just, like... Imagining the, like two people arguing the semantics, and then one of them coming home one day, <laughs> and the other guy is just written passive aggressively on the wall, <laughs> and that's food, not bullets. And he's just sitting there staring, glaring <laughs> at him. And then one of them angry like draws a line across the room and says, "Don't <laughs> step on my side." <laughs> Presumably one of them is like kind of a slob and the other is all prissy and neat freakish. And then their third roommate comes in and he's like, guys, what the fuck? No, the wacky neighbor comes in. At that point. <laughs> Have you ever seen Clerks? The animated cartoon? Oh, the, the animated? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. I've never seen the movie, but I actually own the animated series on DVD. You've never seen them? Oh, the movie's pretty good. Wait, am I gonna... Wait, am I... Wait, pass off. No, don't do... No, don't... What did I just say about engaging these guys at long range? No! Desist! As you, I am ordering you to... Cease and desist. No, don't attack the other one, too! Just aggro both of them fast, John. Man, I suck at this game. What? Okay. Because the thing is, like, you think you got a lined up shot, and then, like, you know, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll take a turn or something, and you know, you'll miss the last second. Could be worse. Now you don't actually have Maybe. to, you don't actually have to shoot those tanks. You can just shoot the tall boy himself, but it takes a lot of shots. Yeah, because he's like heavily armored. Right? Yeah. And if you hit those metal like shields, they'll break off, but it will stop you. See, there you go. It'll, it'll soak up a shot. Finally! 
See, that's why it's really not a good idea trying to engage them at range like that. Mm. There is, of course, a better way to deal with these guys if you want to fight them. These are, the, these are the series of buildings you use to avoid rushing across open ground. That ain't healthy for you. Oh no, not this again. I'm going to cut the part of the video where I talked about how it's a bad idea to engage these guys at long range because now I just sound like a complete moron. <laughs> you can get quite high. There's the corpse mobile. So you going for the drop attack here? Yeah. I need to do at least one cool thing in this section of the game to redeem <laughs> the... Redeem all the rest of it, basically. Yeah. What kind of Oreos should I buy? How many types are there? Uh, you would be surprised. Uh, they talked about it on the last friend cast they were they had a uh, watermelon uh strawberry no was it banana split um rice crispy oh wait cherry limeade hold on so, something's gonna actually happen here oh excellent i'll stop talking about cookies Perhaps I spoke too soon. Okay, Reese's Pieces. That's that's a weird combination. Is it? This is well, just combined with peanut butter. But I mean, combined with Oreos specifically. Yeah. Because Oreos themselves, well, I, I just... Oreos themselves were already a combination of things. Yes. <laughs> well, the banana split ones are like one cookie is chocolate, one cookie is vanilla, and then there's like. Neapolitan frosting. I just don't like banana. I like banana, but I would not like that. I'm told it tastes awful. There's that wall of light. Steady flow of bodies through here, as you can see. Here he comes. At last! Hey. Vengeance is mine. That is just, I just love that animation so much. All right. And you definitely, you do want to get rid of that guy because you don't want to be going around inside that narrow narrow corridor with like a tall boy looming over you, running running you down. Right. 
Because, I mean, you know, between their incendiary shots and the fact that they can just kick you and step on you. Oh, God! Did I do that? <laughs> oh, I think I, I think that's the other one of the tall boys I just bombarded until his tanks blew up. Good Lord. And is the, there's no way to, like, sneak sneak around them? They're going to notice you? Oh, no, you can. Right? You can sneak. No, oh, okay. But... If you do get noticed, you don't want it to be inside that tunnel, because you got nowhere to maneuver. The exit's tantalizingly close, man. Voltage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's a second tall boy in there. I forgot. Right. The other end of it. Wait, I thought you already killed him. No, there's a, another one. Wait, how is that thing oh. going in that direction? Wouldn't it have crashed into the... Finally, it occurs to me to just y yank the damn power supply. <laughs> yeah, th this area was not my finest hour. No well, viewer won't know that. Or, well, maybe they will, well, but not well, I, I don't want them to think it is my finest hour, because if it is, imagine what the rest of this playthrough must be like. <laughs> it's true. There we go. And we could just escape. Or... Why escape when we could meander? No, much better than that. There we go. Nice. Because fuck that dude. That's why. <laughs> John spits on your grave. New objective, return to the Hound's Pit pub. But we're not gonna, we don't, we're not back just, we got a ways to go still. And Nick, you asked about uh, Slackjaw earlier, as I recall. Yeah. Uh, that question is gonna be answered for you pretty soon. Yay. I like Slackjaw. He's a cool dude. Fine upstanding citizen. 